Lox a lordy, August is upon us. And I'm feeling very crabby about the whole thing. Come to think of it, I'm feeling quite limpety, lobstery and starfishy too. You may think I finally cracked, but I was actually giving you a little clue about this month's theme for our bullet journals. It's at this time of year that many of us go rock pooling. After all, the sea is beginning to warm up and it's a bit nicer to stick your feet in it. And it's always exciting to see what is left in the rock pools at low tide when the sea has gone out. My name is Jules, I'm an illustrator. Watch to the end of the video and I've got a special giveaway for your journal. Without further ado, hang on, how do you further your do? Without losing any more time, Get your jellies on, grab your net, and let's dive into the rock pool. So I am starting off with a Tombow hard-tipped pen. And this month's quote is courtesy of Lord of the Rings and Tolkien. Not all those who wander are lost. Um, I like this because I was thinking about what it must be like to live on the coastline, with the tides going in and out, and all the creatures wandering from pool to pool, and having to stay put when the tide is out. I was thinking it must be quite an unusual existence, I suppose, particularly from our perspective. So there we go, some crabs and some fish and some seaweed. And I'm just going to colour those in with my Crayola super tips. If you saw July's bullet journal, you might remember that the theme was flag bunting. I really like this because it was so easy to do and it looked really cute I thought. This month I was inspired by the sort of thing we do at this time of year, especially if you have small children. It's so exciting to see a crab or a fish or a anemone in a pool when the tide has gone out. One of my friends wrote a book about a little girl getting a limpet stuck on her finger and I've been slightly obsessed about limpets ever since. The colour palette I've used this month is mainly yellow and grey, so I used uh, the pastel yellow from the Tombow brush pens and I've used the grey from the super tips, the pale grey. But I also wanted to incorporate just a little bit of other, uh, other sort of spot colours, so I've used a bright green, a bright blue and an orange, just to give it a little bit more sort of summery feel and interest. So this is my title page and I decided to do lots of rock pooly creatures around the edge in a circle. There's a little clam peeking out and a crab, I love drunk crabs, starfish and then the back end of that lobster. I don't know if you knew this but lobsters are actually blue when they are uh, in the sea and they only go pink when they've been cooked. So if you see, if you're out snorkeling, you're likely to see them as blue creatures rather than pinky, orangey coloured. Whenever I'm drawing uh, trees or places where you can have little creatures peeking out, I always draw some eyes, so that little clam there is quite typical of the sort of thing that I draw in my books. And there's an anemone. Why is it so hard to say anemone? Now on to the monthly log and our monthly goals page. I actually um, had to spill over onto two pages for this because it didn't quite fit. I think I've done um, two, three, four dots by five tall for each of those boxes and then I decided to freehand draw three circles for my three monthly goals. And I've actually filled them in now, so I've ended up doing one for work, one for um, sort of mental health and um, relaxation, and one for family things to do. The dates go along the top, sorry, the days go along the top, the dates will go inside the box and this is just to put any uh, things that are definitely on the calendar for doing now. Um, I can start writing those in for my yearly log and then 
as I get more details as to the things that I'm going to be doing or when I'm going to be doing them and I'll fill them into my weekly log. Now look, another crab. <sighs> Anyone who think I like them? There's the finished colour palette, colour double page spread, and this is going to be my weeklies. So I'm just mainly using the grey and the yellow, and because I couldn't fit in seven columns, seven rows, sorry, I've done six, and the bottom one is going to have to be for Saturday and Sunday. On the side here is my meal planner. I have to do this otherwise we end up eating the same thing day in and day out and that can get very boring as I'm sure you can imagine. So when you're busy, when you're super busy as a lot of us are, it's a great idea to get yourself really organised for the whole week. Especially because then you don't waste any food, you don't waste money shopping. I'd highly recommend and then, just because I haven't done this before, I've done a things to do every day. So I'm probably going to do like yoga, meditation, make bed, that sort of thing. A little drop shadow around the edge here. Whether you've just found my channel or if you know me already, you're really welcome here. I post drawing and planning tutorials every Friday afternoon. So if that's your bag, particularly if you're interested in drawing for children's books, then subscribe and ding that bell notification so that you catch all of the videos. This is my tracker page so I'm just keeping track on my statistics for things like YouTube, Instagram and MailChimp and also any creative ideas that I have in the middle of the night when I'm washing up or um, any other kind of inconvenient moment I'm going to jot them down here so that I don't forget them. Because you know what it's like, you get a really creative idea when you can least see it to its fruition. I wonder what is going to happen this month. I will be posting a draw with me video tutorial for Rockpool creatures next Friday. So if you're not sure about drawing them, you could plan your boxes and your layouts for August and then watch next week's video to finish off the fishy decoration. Now for that giveaway. I've drawn some free Rockpool doodles for you to download. You can print them off, colour them in and stick them straight into your journal. All you have to do is follow the link in the description box and I will send you the Google Drive link. Don't forget to tag me into any of your Instagram posts if you've got photos of your bullet journal and you've used my theme. And talking of not forgetting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video and found it useful and comment below if you've ever been rock pulling. Thanks for watching, I'm off to make a seaweed sandwich, I'll see you next week. Nanu nanu!